voice to that effect. So this is for you. This is what this is about. This is where I work. This is up in the north of Ethiopia in the Simeon Mountains. And a few years ago I was walking there and I just got sick of seeing no water, absolutely no water for people to drink. And so I formed my own not-for-profit organisation and every year for the last five years I've gone back and built water sources there. So this photograph is taken at three and a half thousand metres above sea level and yes, I do get quite a bit of attitude sickness when I first go there. I've built 25 water sources up around this level and in the distance you can see two and a half thousand metres above sea level that is called locally the Lowlands, LOL, and I've put another <coughs> 20 in there. It's, it's amazing scenery, there's amazing wildlife and flora. This uh, troop of about 800 Galata monkeys sits outside my tent um, and camps there and I see them in the morning when I get up. And this is what I see. This is how people live. This is a standard house. There's no, uh, no road access. Many of the villages take me four hours, five hours to walk into them. There's no IT, there's no phone, there's no electricity, there's no jobs, no one has cash in their pockets. And there's no water and there's no sanitation. Houses are really simple. Actually, this is a really nice house. This is my friend Ehiti, and Ehiti is uh, roasting um, some coffee beans for me and, that I'd taken as a gift. There's no way she could afford them, but um, she was going to make me coffee with the water that's in that yellow jerry can. Like I said, there's no water, there's no sanitation. And this is what it looks like. When people don't have water, this is what happens. These kids have no water at all. They have nowhere to go to the toilet. They have nowhere to get a clean drink. And this is what it looks like. And there are millions of children across our world and adults, but mainly children, because they hit the hardest, and they look like this. They suffer from chronic infections, both parasitic and bacterial. They have ongoing diarrhoea, ongoing vomiting. You'll notice that they're malnourished, especially the little child in the middle, and they're stunted. If they get to five years of age, 